so hello everyone welcome to my new video so today in this video i will discuss with you all about how to dispense classes to a myopic patient so it's a very important topic for you all because every day you are dealing with patients who are having refractive error so it can be myopia hypermetropia or astigmatism so this is the dispensing series that i started where i will discuss each and everything about how to dispense glasses to a myopic patient hypermetropic patient or astigmatism patient as well as who patients who are having presbyopia what are those things that you need to keep in mind while dispensing glasses to those patients so this video will be dedicated only to the myopic patient glass dispensing okay so let's start so here myopia is that type of refractive error where the parallel rays of light which are coming from infinity after getting refracted by the cornea and lens will get focused in front of the retina instead of focusing on the retina. So that's why the patient feel difficulty to see the distant object clearly but they can see quite near clearly. Okay, so that is myopia. So in myopia accommodation having no role. If you active your accommodation then you will see if you are a myopic patient and you are using your accommodation then you will see more blurry so that's why there is no role for accommodation now there is several ways to treat myopia like you can give spectacle glasses contact lenses surgery like lasik or prk as well as in case of high myopic patient we can also do clear less extraction something like that but the most commonest way to treat myopia is by giving spectacle glasses to the patient right so spectacle is a non-surgical uh, way of managing the myopia properly okay so uh, whenever you are giving glasses to the patient and you are trying to correct a myopic patient you need to give concave lenses to the myopic patient right so this concave lens is thinner in the center and thick in the periphery so this thing creates some kind of uh, trouble to the patient to adapt this thing properly so that's i am going to discuss how to deal with this kind of conditions so here these are the challenges that you will feel or you will face whenever you are dispensing lenses to a myopic patient first you need to reduce the lens thickness second you need to reduce the lens weight and third is you need to reduce the lens reflection then fourth you need to reduce the lens abrasion then you need to improve the lens cosmetic look as well as uh, you need to have uh, make sure that the lens is fitting perfectly on the patient face all these things you need to keep in mind while you are dispensing glasses to a myopic patient okay so first, first let's start with the lens thickness so remember this thing that select a smaller frame size to minimize the edge thickness of my minus lens okay then select a frame that looks symmetrical in both sides like square shape round shape oval shape but don't select supra frame or rimless frame because if you select supra frame and if the patient is high myopic then uh, the edge or periphery the thickness will be more exposed so it will it will give the look that the lens is very thick but uh, apart from that if you select a plastic frame which is a square shape uh, that then the a uh, uh, eyewear can hide the lens thickness properly so that's why the lens thickness will not that much looking big there oh okay and also you need to select a smaller frame size okay so that means smaller b size measurement okay then you can select a high index lens that lead to more bending of the light and it will provide less thickness in the periphery also you can select a spheric lens design for myopic patients okay and also the lens edge thickness should uh, distribute equally in front and back prior uh, back portion of the eyewear okay and you can select a smaller size bevel for the lens making okay now let's move to the lens weight how to reduce the lens mass or lens weight to so select plastic lens over mineral lens material select smaller frame to reduce the excess peripheral lens weight and big nose pad to distribute the mass over the nose base area 
now you can also select trivex trivex lenses also which are very light okay now lens reflection so put you can put arc coating on the lens surface to avoid unwanted reflection you can alter the pentoscopic tilt of the uh, spectacle lens uh, frame to reduce the surface reflection as well as select organic lens material over the mineral material okay now how to reduce the lens aberration make sure that the person seeing through the op seeing uh, through the optical center to avoid unwanted aberrations use lens material like trivex or polycarbonate which is having a value of 30 to reduce the lens aberration high index lenses can be up to 50% thinner than the regular glass or plastic lens and they are quite light also so here you can see this regular uh, lens is very looking uh, thick right but the high index lenses can be up to 50% thinner but the high index lens also have its disadvantage that it's very costly so that's why many people can't afford that cost for their glasses okay but the glass lens provide the excellent optics and most scratch uh, resistant glass material but they are very heavy thick and uh, dangerous if it broken and also it's uh, can it can also cannot used in some specific frame style uh, or frame shapes okay now if i talk about the aspheric lenses so aspheric lens are also a good choice in case of thinner and lighter lens so this aspheric lenses gradually change its curvature from center to periphery in minus lenses aspheric lens becomes steeper in periphery and in plus lenses aspheric lens become flat in the periphery so it give constant optical clarity in center to periphery okay so that is aspheric so other high minus lens make the wearer eye looks uh, smaller in case of my mi uh, minus lenses but aspheric lens design not show such things okay and the eye look natural so the best option for a high minus lenses are high index plus aspheric design will be the best combination for minus lenses now i, I can give you some examples of manufacturing or uh, uh, manufacturers of aspheric lenses like hoya and zeiss if you are dealing a child with high minus then polycarbonate lens are the best choice for the high because of the high impact resistant but remember whenever you are giving poly lenses do prefer to give an extra scratch resistant coating in that now the most common lens material that is used nowadays is cr39 the best thing is it is uh, the best thing of this material is it is very affordable but it have multiple disadvantages like it is less scratch resistant it is less uv protective it is less impact resistance so if you are giving cr39 to a patient then do prefer to give uv protection and anti scratch coating with that okay now so improving the cosmetic look of the patient so typically the first thing patient observe in their spectacle is lens thickness and myopic concentric ring so therefore you need to see all those factors that i told you earlier like smaller frame symmetrical frame shape high index lens material or aspheric design bevel placement proper ipd measurement all these things are very much important to uh, improve the cosmetic look as well as if uh, you are putting extra arc coating over the lenses then eyes are looking very natural and it will show un uh, it, it will reduce the unwanted reflections so the cosmetically eyes will look more beautiful okay now fitting on the patient face so for a proper fitting you need to do proper fitting adjustment like uh, you need to measure the IPD properly. You need to uh, select a frame shape which is um, 
matching with the patient facial symmetry or patient uh, patient patient facial uh, status okay so uh, as well as uh, don't select a large type of frame uh, in comparing to the face okay it will lead to some kind of optical center displacement also okay so these are the things that i want to discuss in this factor that can affect the adaptation here incorrect ipt measurement displace optical center large frame in compared to the face as well as more facial wrap and incorrect pantoscopic tilt all these things are leading to um, some kind of uh, dissatisfaction with the glasses and the patient may come to you if you do not look at this thing properly okay so that's all friends thanks for watching and please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notification whenever i upload a new video and i hope this video helped you a lot in understanding how to do dispensing or uh, how to dispense a uh, glass to a myopic patient okay so the next video will be dispensing on hypermetropic patient thank you so much